All right, guys, we have got another Space Invaders Deluxe, or Deluxe Space Invaders, as it looks like they want to call it, by Midway. I think this is around 1980. It's one of the last black and white games ever made, although you can see it has like a color overlay that they laid over the monitor to pretend it was in color. Uh, that one just needs to be recentered and taped down. This is a complete game other than the lower back door, which is missing. Um, and this cabinet's in a lot better shape than the last few I've sold. It, I think it's still probably, yeah, I think it's still got wet, but it hasn't rotted out down here. I mean, it's still nice and solid at the bottom and it hasn't, you know, started falling apart at all anywhere. So you can tell it's it's just gotten kind of uh, there's a little bit of white mold in there, not much, but um, it's it's a lot better. I mean, I, the last few I sold were literally cabinets were falling apart. This one is not. This one is definitely restorable, and the artwork is actually in, still in really good shape on both sides. Top doesn't look like it got wet. It's got a little bit of cabinet damage here. A um, couple of nicks here along the top. Uh, some scratches down here, it looks like, but not bad. Front looks great. Um, yeah, even that wood plate underneath the cabinet there is still intact and not all rotted out. We've got a working monitor. Um, and I'm going to see if I can get those boards working. Usually, if, I don't know. I've got a pretty good track record of just reseeding chips and monkeying and getting a, getting it to work. And look at that, it looks like it's <laughs> changing pattern as we speak. But anyway, the monitor's clearly working. Uh, boards are not at the moment, but we'll monkey with it and see what we can do. Coin door's in great shape, as you can see. It's got one coin mech, and I think I saw the other coin mech down in the bottom of the cabinet, missing the little coin box, sorry about that. Um, Control panel's not in bad shape, but it's got the typical cigarette burns. I, it's amazing to me just how much people smoked back in 1980, because, man, you just don't find a Space Invaders that doesn't have cigarette burns all over it. And nowadays, try and find somebody smoking cigarettes. Um, it's not easy to find. Um, so here we are. Let me... What I usually do is just press on each of these EPROMs first. Press on each side of them and on the uh, CPU. They didn't really move at all, so I, don't, I doubt that did anything. Now, let me turn it off and on and see what happens. Hey, we're getting um, some sound effects, though. That's a good sign. All right, so let's try... Um, Let's try actually reseeding those chips. This is, I, I, I don't want to say dangerous in the sense it's not going to hurt me or anybody, but these EPROMs, or these PROMs, I should say, are so fragile that you can break the legs off just trying to reseed them. But it's going to have to happen, so I'm putting a flashlight in my mouth. Here we go. Lifted one side of those, each of those chips, pressed it back in. Now we'll try rebooting. Unfortunately, it did nothing. All right, let's do the uh, the processor and the other side of the chips.
<clears throat> I believe Intel, they used Intel um, 8080s in these early Midway games. Okay. Eh, it doesn't sound like it's booting. All right, well, it's not going to be as easy as reseeding the proms. But it's a project, as previously mentioned. Um, but yeah, it's this is actually a really nice cabinet. This this one is worth restoring. You can get these new overlays for like twenty bucks, so that'll be solved. The bezel is actually in really good shape. It's got a little bit of flaking right here, but otherwise, it's uh, it's really nice. Excuse me, I just had lunch. Um, it's really nice. It does have a real light scratch here, but that's light enough. You can definitely get that buffed out with some Novus plastic polish. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching.